Hi guys, Nicole and Rob here from Financial Accounting Services. The biggest question we got by far this week was regarding the PPP loans. Many banks have opened up the application process. We haven't heard of any clients receiving funds yet, and a lot of banks still are having errors right now and aren't receiving the applications. And so, Rob, can you give us a quick recap of the PPP loan? Absolutely, be happy to. Uh, so the PPP loan, let's go over some of the terms. So it's a 1% uh, interest rate, which is extremely cheap. Uh, the maximum length of the loan is for two years. Uh, there's no personal guarantee or collateral required. Um, and uh, there's a six month payment deferral. So once you receive funds, you don't have to make your first payment for six months. Um, the amount that you will receive is based on 2.5 times the average monthly payroll uh, over the last 12 months or from calendar year 2019. What is included in that payroll calculation, that payroll number? Uh, in the payroll number, um, there are a few components. The first is salary, wages, and tips. And those amounts are capped at $100,000 uh, per employee. So, so you have an employee that makes $150,000, that additional 50 will not be considered part of the calculation. Yeah. Um, so there are some, some other components to the payroll costs that are not, at least uh, to our understanding, that are, do not fall within that cap. Those include employee benefits, um, such as vacation pay, parental leave, um, family, medical, and sick leave, even that pertaining to COVID-19 and retirement benefits. So if you're doing a 401k match for your employees, that does not fall under the cap. So that's important to note. So that can be included in your number and calculated for your loan amount of two and a half times, correct? That's right. There's right. an additional component of the state and local tax compensation, or in other words, the state unemployment tax. Um, that's also considered a payroll expense. Fantastic. And then if you're self-employed, uh, net earnings from self-employment is included in that that's and uh, commissions paid. Mm -hmm. So that's all good things to know. Um, all right. And we've had a bunch of questions on how to fill out the application. So below this video, we're going to note uh, common answers to questions 7, 14, 16, and 17. That was the most popular by far email that I filled it this week. Our team filled it this week. Also, if you're a Karma payroll client, uh, a client of our payroll company, uh, we all we now have a new report that you can use, and so just uh, give us a call or send us an email, and we'll be happy to get out that report. It'll make filling out this application a lot easier for you. Um, and so, Rob, we know that this is kind of what you said, the best thing, the closest thing to free money that you can get. So how is this PPP loan forgiven? Well, uh, the, forgi the forgiveness uh, occurs only over the first eight weeks uh, once you receive funds from the loan. So all of the um, payroll costs that are incurred in, in that period um, are eligible to be forgiven. Um, the um, forgiveness amounts can be reduced if you were to decrease your full-time staff or if you were to, do, to reduce wages by more than 25% um, for any employees that made less than $100,000 in 2019. Now, if you are in a situation where you have had to uh, do some layoffs or had to reduce uh, wages, you have until June 30th, so not a whole lot of time, but June 30th to restore your full-time employment um, and salary levels for any changes that occurred between February 15th and April 26th. So if you can kind of get back up into that um, allowed zone, then your forgiveness um, will be reinstated. Great. Thank you, Rob. We at Financial Accounting Services are praying for you guys, our clients, our business owners, our community leaders, um, and just know that our thoughts are with you guys. The next couple weeks, we understand, we know that they're going to be tough, but we will get through this. So it is our privilege to serve you guys. Love and prayers. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.